Uh, and you do have that minus armor. So TA plus Venge does KO pretty well. Pangolier is going to join the fray as well. Uh, sometimes you see, you know, uh, Blightstones being purchased by that hero. So I think they're going to have a lot of physical damage. They have Roche on Liquid. But the scaling on Spirit is really uh, scary, especially oh, the Life Stealer. Drop in low bottom lane is going to get taken down first. Blood from a post kick, quick turnaround for 33 right there. But the first blood, that's the, the crucial one to secure at the start of the game. We do see sort of a rotation here from inside. If they can find me, Poshka, I'm sure Nisha could connect, and they do. 33 as well, bottom lane, gonna get jumped underneath the tower. He's trying to run away. Can he get any support? He is pretty fast, thanks to the One. wind lace, keeping him out of range of Yatro, who doesn't have rage anymore. They're missing their spells. Lal's actually gonna dive deep, expecting pretty much to die here, which is very likely going to be the case. Still has a regen room pop. Center stampede, can Lal disengage, sidestep, dodge Nisha? No. Nope, that's not going to work out. Or is it? Oh, oh. so very close. Far shots low. Uh, no, uh, no, there is insane. Yeah, from the low ground, had the vision from the watcher, and the kill does get secured as a counter. So one for one. Uh, collapse is going to get jumped here. Mickey, can you get the damage in? One more hit needed, and he will be found out. Yatro in response, going to charge up towards Mickey. Can Mickey get any support himself? Luckily enough, Life Seal doesn't have the shards at all because it's, well, not at that point, but that's the only way that he can really hold you down in the early part. So big fat Smoke rotation doll. though to make sure Mickey does get dropped. And Senior's not level six yet, so a little bit too far away to get the save swap going and we'll have to sacrifice Mickey there knowing he cannot help his teammate just yet. <laughs> just because Liquid had a terrible any stage, but they got the wisdom runes. That's very uncommon to see. Uh, as they do have the swap now, so this could be a kill on Laurel. Oh, center stampede. Laurel, can you sidestep Infest. Nisha? It's pretty hard. Nisha, one more bounce plus a swashbuckle. Note with the infest. It's a little bit too risky. Collapses here as well. <laughs> nice swashbuckle killing off Mira <laughs> randomly. Uh, or, you know, calculatedly. The blink. You'll probably keep the, fro uh, the frost armor. Then maybe, you know, you can swap, right? If you want to go for a play, you get the war stomp. As they oh, got the stomp boxy. Yeah, they'll get the dive in. He is very tanky, has drums, but won't be able to get away thanks to the Maposhka freeze. There is a bit of a rotation towards top, but Misha, it's uh, too far away. He's getting his Aghanim Scepter at also pretty good timing. I'm really liking the liquid item timings here. Radiance yeah, is now done they, as well. They did finish the Desolator. This is huge. Three big timings, and uh, there we go. I'm gonna fight. Top side, Insane, yeah, has a swap that he could use, not going to use it, is going to get taken down. Collapse, charged that by Such Nisha, rolling, rolling thunder, thunder continuing. The root is pretty nasty though, but the swashbuckle to the side to dodge the stomp. Coming in, Collapse is going to try and run away, finish off the lift up on the back end from 33 onto Maposhka as well. Three players down, it only cost them Avenge. That is very scary. I think you can go for pickoffs, right, fighting Mikke with no Aegis. Probably is the best target Spirit can get, but they're gonna find the Venge instead. Uh, especially on support, dude. Like, how many times are I actually gonna use Infernal Blade in a fight as Mira? Being no, 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 it's the Scorched Earth one now. Oh, you're right, you're right. Mira... Wait, what? What? There's a Radiance? Oh, towards mid also, rolling Thunder away, Nisha. What? Rolls into the mind! Oh my god! <laughs> Mira from beyond the grave gets rid of not like the rolling this. thunder pango. Not like this, okay, that's liquid. Hilarious. Yeah. I was Okay, there's like three different fights happening all over the place. Mickey Four. is gonna get caught bottom though. Will be sniped down. But yeah, previously what we I assume we both were watching was the Doom using his Doom onto a 20 HP techies. Yes. That was gonna die to Radiance anyways, as there's a fight brewing mid. Do you really wanna there's take no this fight? Thunder though, but Laurel taking so much damage in the meantime. There's no Crystal Maiden ult. Yatro is on the run. His rage is about to end as well. Going Insania, fast. can he get on top? He has the magic missile at the ready. The sun comes out. Yatro has no infest, no rage, no way out. Lift up onto the deck. He's Bruce with doing its job. Yatro rage in a second. Can he rage out of there? Nisha on the chase will be taken down. And they are going to look for Mira inside the tree. Boxy jumping forward. 
Needs to be a little bit careful as well. There's going to be the TP from Collapse. Gets the jump onto Box, but Mira's going to get taken down in response. Collapse. He has Miposhke, but it's a Crystal Maiden. What's the Crystal Maiden going to do? Insania might drop dead, but it might just cost Collapse his life as well. And that... Oh, Collapse. Will he be able to run away? It seems not. 33 is pretty fast. And that is a triple kill for the Pandemonium Lord himself. Brewmaster 33 coming in clutch in that team fight. I guess it's just still a ton of damage, but I, I've seen it in a couple of pubs. I'm not saying I've seen it in the pros. They just get... Hello. Oh, my God. Insania with a quick Good stun spot. coming out. Nice swap attempt, but 33 cannot oh. get himself out of that brief split. We're still on cooldown for 10 seconds, and a nice double kill does get secured. I think that, that's one that wasn't... There was no change to it, right? Yeah, but Ace is just too good in general. Yeah, it's too good in the beginning of the game as they find yeah. Mirra. Trying to run away, but there's the entire rest of the team. Nisha with the roll. Can he kill off Mira in one fell swoop? No, the mech heal keeps him going for a little bit longer. Turns his attention to the side where Laurel is doomed up in the process. Center Stampede, they're going to be held in place. Maposka with a freezing great an ulti. Can they get Maposka out of there? He's actually doing so much work here. Full duration. In terms of damage, they are just forced to run away. He gets the freeze onto Nisha with the shard. And Nisha's going to get taken down. Gives Jatro a chance to go back in. This whole fight is Maposhka going ham. Oh, the silence does of the trap. managed to blow him up. And 33 comes in from behind. Gethro is completely alone. He's going to get kited around. Hurricane fight. Chop, chop, chop. Bye, bye. The fight looked like it was a turnaround play by Maposhka. But in the end, it's just one Crystal Maiden against the world. You get wounded in the pits. And it is definitely a scary prospect. Laurel needs to be careful. Rolling Thunder comes out from Nisha. Has the blink at the ready. Laurel, not again. The Wind Ranger gets Infest. Saved by Yatro. But now his Rage and Infest are on cooldown. Laurel has to run away. Even using Focus Fire just to keep Nisha at bay. And that should open up a possible road for them on the side. Here is the one that's always just somewhere oh. randomly making noise <laughs> yeah like instead of coming from the bottom side he went all the way to the top lane to push it the but split. they are doing some damage here it's gonna wear off yeah, Bruce Split's about to end Doom gets thrown out onto collapse 33 is coming back from uh, his little brewling form kill gets secured onto collapse looking for Yatoro in the process in the meantime how the hell did Mira survive all of that by, while being chased by Nika Yatoro's gonna get swapped back in he's actually out of mana thanks to the refusal from Nisha coming in clutch and the rest of the team is on the run why would you go for Roche when you can go for base it seems they still need to get rid of the tier 2 tower though I I just go going for more. He really wants that miracle, and 33 gets it. I think Nisha definitely stepped up a lot, but to me, a lot of that is the draft. Like they, they just allowed ter, uh, Nisha to have people to play with, which was uh, definitely true in some games. I think he lost some lanes that he shouldn't have, but even in games where his lane was fine, they just didn't have the support duo to support his playstyle, and now it feels much more smooth for them. Uh, still, 20% chance here for Spirit to win. So Gaben does give them a lot of credit still. Their life stealer is pretty strong. He also cut the creep wave, so they won't be able to get themselves the bottom side of racks. Yatro is just uh, pushing the wave out. They're looking for him, though. He's he can infested. eat that creep and do him if he finds it. And the trap did give vision. Oh, another trap will give vision. Gateway. Oh, no, there he gets go. jumped. And there's going to be the doom used. Yatro, gateway, <laughs> help me, papa. Gateway chase as well. There is a stampede. So, the Yatro Lightseal, he actually can turn this around. He's got the open wounds. Nom, 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 nom. On to Boxy he goes. The rage comes in. Boxy is dead. Mistakes have been made. But he went through and then he didn't do enough damage. I feel like that could have been... Oh, mid lane. Laurel in trouble. Does he get back? No, he does not. The swap oh, from Insania no. finds the last hit needed. He has the... Aghanim Scepter as well, so even if you kill him the once, you have to kill him the twice. And they are going to turn their attention to Collapse, because Yatro's spells are still available. He has the BKB now on Yatro as well, which is no a pretty big one, but he might not have the mana if he's not careful. Pops the bait BKB. 33 on the runaway. There's going to be a jump in. Nisha is in trouble. The bombs are going nuts. Mira, can he get the damage in? Nisha is tickling down. Mika is in trouble next. He's got the Aegis, but if you're surrounded by enemies, what love do you have from that Aegis? Four heroes right on top of you. Can he get anything going? Not even the kill on Mira gets secured. And this is a huge play coming out from Team Spirit.
That is interesting. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a good save to keep Laurel in the fight. Yeah, I think oh, it is. Oh, Yatoro gets Swap. swapped back. Doom gets used. And Yatoro is dead. No buyback. Is this over? 500 gold off buyback. He won't be able to join back until his entire base is gone. Team Liquid. That might be game. They are showing up real hard here. No hesitation on so many of those swaps. Punishing this lifestyle that never went there going for a Lincoln. Okay, gonna get jumped. Does, of course, have that Aegis at the ready. Turns his attention to collapse. Rolling Thunder continues. Kill gets secured. Collapse has a buyback available. That will delay his Aghanim Scepter quite some time. If he does use it. The swap comes out. Mapoge got two shot in the process. Insignia, so fast. Just gets the swap in. They get the kill. He walks away scot-free. Jump in onto Mira. The techie's very tanky. Is he going to survive this time around? 33 goes back in. There's going to be the refresher used as well. But Nisha doesn't actually have the mana for a rolling thunder. They glyph that range barracks. This is Stand a really feed. hard fight now. They get boxy. Boxy but... taken care of, but that's a dieback. Oh. Collapse dies back. They buy back onto Mira. They're just going to go for tier fours. They haven't even secured megas yet. They want to finish this before the life sealer comes back in. Mira's going to get die back as well. Laurel, how much can you get done without your ulti at the ready? Nick is actually being distracted from taking care of the tier fours, but it will be Team Liquid taking game number one here. Slightly delayed, but in the end, they get it done. Thing that I actually expected our panel to talk about. How many games do you think 33 has officially? Wait, wait a second here as Boxy, Boxy. will die. All right. That's it, because if you get rid of Windrun, you die. Yeah. Uh, Leshrac, Bloodstone, BKB, you just go, go, go. Don't care about oh, anything TP bottom. the enemy throws at you. Bottom lane, Boxy TP's in, Collapse in a bit of trouble, does have the surge, trying to run away. Stun into stun into kill. Get secured, Mirror was just a little bit away from that avalanche to try and interrupt that chase down. But Mira now himself in a lot of trouble here. Stun comes out. Luna also went for two points in Lucent Beam on Mickey, so really aggressively trying to win this lane. However, with Insignia on level five in this top area, it does get a little bit more scary. Yeah, pretty similar game to game one. Like you have the net worth advantage on Spirit, but the supports on Liquid are doing oh. much better as Laro. Laurel, mana gets drained. Suicide jump in from Boxy. Laurel dropping low. The sun comes out. The kill gets secured. And Insania doesn't exactly know where he needs to run. It's a little bit juke there. Mira wants to get the toss back, which should be possible. Actually lifts him up with the creep on top of him will get the toss down and Yatro gets a double kill with that monkey king rotation towards mid okay i mean they are lacking a little bit of catch and this time is having an awful game so i'm not opposed to it either just having the vacuum into glepner seems pretty strong um uh, yeah i mean i think it's it's okay I, I don't really play monkey king as oh cancels the splitter of animation yeah there's yatoro his mana does get drained misha still trying to run away but nice blast off coming out from boxy the avalanche in response will they kill off nisha yes they will 33 is here has the ghost ship coming through for the laurel kill can he get it secured yes he can and runs away with the rum buff they get two for one trade thought that was a free one but they will keep it alive for now Mira, toss back onto Laurel. They also have the vacuum wall to use. Ghost ship comes through. The wall gets placed onto 33. Collapse is actually trying to disengage the dodging and weaving all across the fight so no one stacks. Boxy can't get the connection he needs. The MP keeps Mira on the side away, but there's the Monkey King. Oh, coming in. Yeah, to man. On to three, and a great bomb of strike catch as well. Nisha, Voker, will he be able to disengage? Goes into invis mode, but Yatro jumped forward. Tap, tap, he says with his big long stick, and the double kill secured for the Monkey King. And he'll disengage right. out of there. So he keeps uh, three enemies occupied. In the meantime, 33 towards mid. Very low in HP, but his Axe is now done. Nisha is also done. Taken down. Blink Dagger's done, Amira. And it will be a 4k net with lead so far for Team Spirit. The mid-game potential of this Luna is going to be crazy with Alacrity, Rum buff, the Shard, as they find an Insania, and he's probably dead. Insania not having a superb time. 
any single time he gets spotted up, Amira from now on will be a wow. death on him. Mickey needs to run away. There's going to be the split earth on top of each other. They go. In comes the torn storm, though. The response is huge. Collapse is trying to run away. Nisha right clicking from the side. And they have no Monkey King to fight with them this time around. Oh. Crystal Maiden ulti on top. They will find the kill. Ghost Ship comes out from 33. They will find Laurel in response. And now it's the two supports that are left trying to run away and saying you will be able to TP through as well to look for Maposhka that he tends to find. In the meantime, Yatro has been running all across the entire map to try and rejoin his teammates. Wukong's command comes down and Zane is going to get rooted inside the Wukong's two-man patch with the bomb strike. Now Yatro needs to be a little bit careful himself because he is out of mana and very close to out of HP. Uh, that was yeah. a bit of a tr problem. It came in pretty much after his teammates were already dead. Oh, insane Yakot on one side. Mira will be the second support to lose his life from the dire side. But there's the Yules holding in place. The Kunka has the ghost ship. Needs to use it to try and disengage. There are enemies all around him. Rum buff, movement speed increase. Can he get out of there? The chase from Yatro. Two man route. Jumping onto 33. Takes down the Kunka. And the next one is going to be Nisha. Yatro is on. It's hard for them to. They just have to play together. And thus, they're not going to farm these timings they need. Mira gets the catch, drops back Boxy, who is surrounded by adversaries, will be taken down. Go Thornstorm comes out, Go Ship as well on the Yatro, that's a huge kill. If they can secure it to some strike, he's actually gonna stand still. Yatro, one more right click, oh. taken down. He tried to heal with the boundless strike there onto the creep, but is gonna get taken down and a huge kill secured. Laurel lifted up in the sky, bomb down below. He gets taken down by 33, looking for collapse as a fourth kill here. Possibly and definitely coming in. It was a buyback force out on the Radiant side, but my god, that again, 33 storm storm, mwah, perfect on the mark. Oh, Mickey pushing top. There's a monkey, there's a tree running at him, but in response, takes a lot of damage, needs to be careful himself. His BKB is not going to be on cooldown. Mira jumped forward, trying to get the Insane toss? to toss back. Oh, no. Actually, X mark used by 33 to make sure that Insane gets dragged back in case he gets jumped. Suicide jump from Boxy coming forward, blink out from Collapse, and they're going to need to disengage. All right, they're on the run, and Team Spirit do manage to get out. But net worth-wise, this game is even Stevens. Mm -hmm. And I think in general, Liquid has been really good at kind of baiting Spirit into these small skirmishes where they don't get a lot out of their ages. Like, even getting these ages felt kind of like a miracle for Spirit, and now... They barely got to use it as this Luna is getting stronger and stronger. Already has Shard, already has BKB and Laurel. Taking a lot of damage there. But as that's you mentioned, has that age. In comes the Eclipse though, looking for Collapse. He knows that that's the target. Collapse is dead. Laurel is going to lose his first life. In a second, keeps himself alive a little bit longer. But can they go for more income? Jatero though, it gets lifted immediately by a 33 catch on that Torrent Storm. And... Yathro is a huge target to lose. Maposhka in trouble. There's a wall still blocking them, but Boxy jumping with the suicidal attempt in oh, return. Laro, can he get the damage on to Mickey? Yes, he can. Mickey will falter. Nisha is close to no spells. Needs to get something useful to try and disengage, and that will be the Invis. And saying N33 still alive and kicking, but that split earth damage range is insane with the Bloodstone. 33 still on the run. Laurel is dropped. Losing mana quickly, though. That is dangerous. EMP, he's going to be out of mana. There's nothing the Lash has left. Bloodstone does not regain mana anymore these days. And now Mira is trying to disengage. Tornado holds him in place. And he's just alive through all of this. And 33 Ooh. as well, who is running around with like 10 HP. Mira versus Nisha. Nisha. Toss up. Kill secured. Mira with a nice little tumble roll. Walks away from that fight. With those around Roche. Oh, they find Mr. Laro here. Yeah, they found who, actually. Yeah, Nisha, vacuum back by collapse. Can he get away? He's trying to disengage. They have no gem, but he can chase him down. Laurel knows where he is, thanks to the Diabolic Edict on the floor, scouting out the Invis targets. That is disgusting. Resorting back to the Roshan Pit. We'll see how much they're going to pressure. They didn't really use anything but the Wukongs, I think. Well, Boxy is placing a bunch of mines, and they do have a Vengeful Spirit. So there is a nice combination. Mira is actually going to jump forward. X mark to drag back Boxy out of harm's way. The swap onto Laurel. Put him in an uncomfortable spot, but he has a BKB. He doesn't really care about your whole Torrent Storm shenanigans. Looking for the insane kill, which he will find. So his BKB is now ended, and that's going to be an immediate buyback from the two heroes that dropped. 
Laurel is in a world of hurt. Surge, can he get himself Surge. out of that? The Glimmer Cape as well. Some strike is going to oh. connect. What a huge kill from Nisha. Gutter is going to be the target instead. Vacuum on the four with the Crystal Maiden ulti on top. We'll still turn this one around. Nikkei with the damage reduction, as you mentioned. Staying alive, that fight looked like it was going to be everything for Team Spirit. Neck on neck. Gotta zoom out because there's going to be a lot of action coming through. Okay, they scout Laurel the Roshan Beam. playing high ground gaming. Mickey, the Kanda does so much damage though. There's a surge on Laurel, but he can't go in. It's too risky, too dangerous at this stage. Jump back, toss back onto 33. Can he get his spells up? Pops a BKB Bloodstone, Torn Storm as well. They're going to find the kill onto Mira, but they don't find the kill onto 33. Buyback comes through. Could be join the fight. Maposka Sun Truck on the side, but there is a catch on Tanisha. Has a BKB pop. We'll be able to try and disengage. The target's going to be 33. He does not have any spells left in the tank, and they will find the Kunka. Looking for more is going to be Mickey. Mickey is the huge target. He doesn't have a BKB on Mickey left. And Mickey is going to be found out. They're chasing one after another. All the cooldowns of Liquid are gone. And they're just going to get overwhelmed by Team Spirit. That was really good for Spirit. They were able to force the Torrent Storm for some cooldowns. They will at least get the bottom set of racks. And as you mentioned, they know there's no Nisha buyback. All right, so we're going to get two lanes. Possibly Roshan as well. Can Liquid... Get formation into the Roshan pit. Probably not. It's a Dire Roche and that Revenant's Brooch we're talking about. Very, very powerful item. Oh, they are smoking here. They do here. scan it. They sunstruck the pit. They know it's dropping. Can they get there in time? It is kicking it pretty close. Collapse and Mira blocking the entry. Jump in onto Boxy. Tornado comes flying through. It's going to at least connect in towards the pit, but the agent has been secured. Mira's going to die back. They know he's taking care of the problem here. Laurel chasing in after Insania, but a nice wall placement inside the trees makes it really hard for Liquid to fight. Mickey doesn't want to pop his BKB. He's keeping that one in the back pocket to re-engage on the fight. Laurel has no mana, eats the cheese just to gain the mana back. In comes the Eclipse charging forward and that Lashrak. Is he going to be able to disengage? Laurel will be able to get around the corner. Split Earth onto Mickey. No BKB available on the Luna. No the damage. support coming through either. Laurel is going to die to just the Moonglaves, but they lose Mickey in the process. This stream, because it is so hot in here. Like, he's just... He's making so much noise as Miposhka. Good use, Scepter. Uh, There's a uh, save Waker, from Laurel actually. with the Wind Waker. Miposhka's still going to be the target. And they will find a kill. Collapse actually running for it. Nice vacuum onto three. The swap to try and keep Mickey out of there, but they're losing their other heroes with that super good play coming in from Collapse. That was also already a previous split earth from Laurel in that area. So you have to deal with double split earth, vacuum wall, avalanche, too many AoE control spells. I'm gonna try buy back here. Double buy back on the radiant side. Flying through, Laurel doesn't actually have anything left. So if he gets X marked, he is in trouble. Tornado is just going to miss Yatru. He does have a double damage rune. Gets the Wukong's command down. Sunstrike will find the kill. He's going to go in onto Mickey. Mickey pops the BKB. Yatru is going to chase him down. Mickey forced to the side. No BKB on the monkey. Was it PSG? I don't remember. They, they won a very important game with a Ray from Luna. Drag back. Pops the BKB. Can they get the kill? Insania dropping low, has the Aghanim Scepter, so he will have a second round to play. Laurel needs to quickly be careful, because he just got a Kanda hit and it hurt him for a third of his HP. Things get even more scary. Comes a charge from Yatra, two-man stun comes in. Root uh, as well, Avalanche from Mira, Mira. dropping pretty low, but there's going to be the tossback play onto Boxy. The Techies is about to drop. He's trying to get all the mines placed as he can. Dorn Storm plus Ghost Ship flying through, and it will be the kill onto Mira. Miposhka is going to be the next target. There's the punch coming out from Collapse. From AK just walking away. BKB has been used, though. Oh, Blank Ford. Laurel's actually chasing for the Mr. kill Splitter. coming in. Swap comes out. Mickey gets out of there. Mira's going to go for the tossback. 
X mark to get Mickey back into a favorable position, but now he's gonna get controlled and whoa, punch to the side, gets the satanic heal off, kills off Laurel in two seconds, looking for Yatro. Yatro, the monkey king is in trouble, toss away from Mira. He has the toss requires no target to try and keep Yatro out of there. Sunstrike comes in, is not gonna connect onto Yatro, and will they chase for more is the question, and the answer seems to be no. Roche has respawned right now though. They will not pressure. Senior doesn't have a buyback available. He actually... He bought the cloak, so he actually doesn't have the money for a buyback. Oh. Going in, rain tracks dropped. Malirax is all that separates them from Magas. Make it pops to BKB just in time. Kill on Tamira is gonna come through with the nullifier. Disengaging is a little bit tougher. X mark. In comes the sun strike as well. The Yatro refresh on both, but there's gonna be the vacuum wall inside the Wukong. Satanic! Everyone's refresh is coming through. Make a strike to heal it up. Can he get it going? Yes, he can with the refresh. The second round of the Holy BKB. Holy Mickey with the damage! Oh my god, Yatro is now gonna get surrounded by the radiant side, and Yatro in trouble. Found out, finished off, and Mickey with the refresh orb. Second round of the Satanic going ham! I mean, the, the risk of it not being locked and they kill your career would yeah. be uh, <laughs> very worth. sad. I guess you have to backpack your Manta now as this Luna. Oh, fight started. Uh, swap in, Yatoro, but quickly gets the turnaround. Kill secured. They did buy back onto Boxy. For them, it's just straight up daytime then. Uh, Mickey Neat wants to get that level 25, so he has the Eclipse loose and Mini Sun coming in. The swap out there. That's dangerous for the Lesh. Laurel pops the BKB, doesn't have a refresher, so that's going to be out the fight for a while. The drag back comes through, but they should be able to disengage on the Radiant side. Okay. Go ship fleet has been used, though. First on the side, is Mira wants to get the toss back. Amira is going to try and fly his way to safety. Right click, one more needed. Mira is going to blow up to Boxy. But in response, Insania is going to be left behind. That's going to be both the Radiant supports drop in dead. Insania with the swap actually stuns up Laurel for a little bit longer trying to run away. Glimmer came force boot save out of there and on the oh, side going to be a great vacuum wall by collapse. Can he get more going? Yatro with the Wukong's command. 33 is on the run. He does not have much left. Turn around by Mickey with the alacrity buff. Can he go for Yatro? No, he cannot. They are going to be forced all the way back. Laurel with the hex onto Mickey. The Luna needs to get Ooh. his satanic heal going. He's going to get rooted up. Gets one heal with the Kanda, and he's back to almost full HP. Still on the run. Is going to get tossed up by Mira. And the swap save attempt. Mickey is flying up into the sky. They're trying everything to keep Mickey alive, but he is going to finally drop dead on the back end. 33 is down as well. They do have buybacks available on a couple, but the supports from Liquid will not rejoin the fight. Yeah, they, they're a little bit afraid of the Ancient uh, dropping quickly, and they need all the mines they can get. That throw, Wukong's command attempt is going to quickly get the hit by the Nullifier, and he should try oh, to go vacuum. into the fight. Mickey pops the BKB. Can he get the damage in? There's a very obnoxious Aghanim Scepter from the Lash going through. They lose Boxy, but Mickey is still alive and kicking, looking for the Maposhka kill. The Crystal Maiden is even too tanky to kill. Mickey has no refresher available, but Ooh. blows up the Monkey King instantly. Mira with the toss up. Mickey, he's looking for some life steal, and Mira is the target that he's looking to gain it from. Mickey, can he get anywhere? No, he cannot. Surround by enemies and that should be the finisher 33 he's got nothing left in the bag he actually has his acronyms in his backpack will be taken down and it will be game number two going to team spirit in 69 minutes Yatoro has as many denies as 33 has yes Bottom lane, collapse, walking underneath Wait, the tower. He's this a Venge looks like Puck, right? Isn't that Venge said weird? I, I, I glanced at it and I thought it was a Puck. Yeah, it is a pretty cool one. So, that's the power right there of Centaur. Double edge, double edge, double edge, double edge, dead. And collapse can just tank the tower for a little bit more if he wants oh, blood to. Blood grenade. Insania throws it out onto Mira, and Mira is actually going to get killed off by Mickey. Uh, I know a big bird could hurt him. Uh, but they're gonna go through a big horse or center, depending who you ask. 
Collapse in return wants to kill off and saying, yeah, he knows he's gonna die. Zip in from low with the TP coming through, looking for Mickey as a second target. Mickey dropping pretty low. Can he stay alive? Nisha comes in. Oh. PK stun and Laurel Storm Spirit is done for. That's. Oh, he insane, has a yeah. Void Stone. Tanya yep. taken down, 33. Uh, yeah, he's got the Void Stone. Is he going to use Saber? Uh, you think that's what he's going for? Yeah, I think he's going for Echo Saber. Has to be. Yeah, Honest Spirit little... Breaker with double great to bash. Definitely. Very low. Very fast, thanks to the Mask of Madness. Breathe Fire not going to be able to reach, but with Vision, 33 will get the charge in and Yatro will falter. Go BKB afterwards then? Like you disassemble, get the Echo later. Oh, DK Sun onto Laurel in mid. The Storm Spirit, do they control him enough? No, they do not. Laurel will be able to just sip out of there. Nisha Charge also on. has a Mage Slayer available right now. Oh, you Moon. meant you were right. 33 went for the Moon Charge, but will interrupt his own charge. Was actually spotted underneath that Observe Award. So the Storm zips oh, all the way Nisha back to here. base. Nisha body blocked by Collapse. The swap comes out. And the sacrificial play by Insania. Nisha actually going back in in the meantime because he saw, oh, Mira's pretty low. I could probably take him. So Nisha's still being chased by Yatro. who used the god strength here. 33, he's got the charge. He's going for the back line. So, dunk, dunk, dunk into the Miposhka catch. Nether strike kills off Mira. Zip comes forward. Boxy's going to lose his life, but Yatro is the first one down. That is big. That is huge. We'll hold him in place for a little bit longer. 33, he's got another charge in five seconds. Collapse does not have a way out of there. Oh, Just didn't hit. Vision. And he yep. shot. Can he get oh, the, the tree? No, Collapse. He places the tree right in front of him. And no way, Jose. Beautifully done. Players, it is definitely here that's actually fun to play that heart is hard to, to hate as old manta dodge from Ike. oh the manta dodge is beautiful collapse will be caught out because of that god and damn disengage mira's being charged his charge is up in a second but the lift up drag back mira nope See goodbye up. never ever in the history of a pub game a spirit breaker ended up going for this build which i love as they fan collapse oh. Collapse, oh they struck. changed their stuff charge but collapse does get taken down without anything more than a stampede usage what uh lara's waiting for to start being active because now you know it's only gonna be either lasso or dragon tail this is already a, a huge win especially if you then have that oh, they dispel. just use it on yatro and cliff oh. him as well oh no he got the r tour experience right there yeah they've got a luna they've got a dk it was a black dragon form Buildings start to drop very quickly. A vengeful Spirit Aura behind it. Once the tier three, yeah, they have to fortify it. The creeps are still alive in mid, so they will be coming up. No one cut it just yet. That might actually just be a full set of racks here for the side of Liquid, because there will not be a Sven coming in. Mickey also has the Kanda now, so you even have to be very careful of just a random little Lucent Beam Pop. There is going to be Laurel's Lucent Beam Pop. Is uh, Lincoln Sphere. As well, well going in on to 33. Doesn't really care. Has the save swap. Soul bind on to two. They get the range racks, but it seems they're going to bail on the melee racks. Uh, hi. Well, I mean, you know. I, I love that you were, you know, we're very invested as Boxy. Oh, Boxy's going to get caught. Four staff. Glimmer can't even be used, but charge gets interrupted. That's going to be Bulldoze on cooldown as well. Buyback comes out from Boxy. 33. He's not close to any of his allies. Nether Strike. Going in for collapse. Center Stampede trying to disengage. Going Zarm. back in. That's going to be a catch on to Mickey backline. But the swap gets both of them out of there. While in the meantime, Nisha Black Dragon is going to be able to chase forever. Yatro drag back and again cliffed up by Boxy. Oh my lord. This Batrider is disgusting. And a Lotus. So yeah, they should be fine. This is this might be two lanes of Barretts. There's no fortification anymore. This is very dangerous for Team Spirit. Even if there was a buyback, they know there's no God Strength. So it's going to be two lanes. And oh, possibly Mira more. Gets four staff forward by Boxy again. Making play after play. In comes a lot of damage from Lyle Shard right there. Clouds actually doing tons of work. 
Thanks to the Laurel oh, Shark, the tail. who will almost drop down. He's going to zip, 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 and Laurel to disengage. Can they at least get themselves two sets of racks? It seems not likely, because Nisha is going to be left behind, and 33 is going to try and outrun the Phantom. Go! Which he is sort of Faster. doing. No, no, there's no okay. way. There's no way. Because uh, it's, it's, it's written... If you get Kanda, it's also based on your right-click damage. And then you have a lot more right-click damage. Wow, that's insane. That extra 15 right-click damage. Oh, wait a second here. They're going for oh, the portal. They're, they're in the low ground. from behind. And the post got load sword. There's going to be a zip in onto Boxy. The Bat Rider is in trouble. Eclipse comes up on top. Storm. And will they finally lose a life? Yes, Boxy's dead. But Collapse is a huge one to take. The rest of the Dire team needs to back off. God's strength was you still a BKB at the ready. Charge forward. And Laurel, Lincoln Sphere has been popped. Jump in. Oh, the BKB pop. Nether Strike, Pump Fake, Load Sword being used to save his life. But that's Collapse going to die back in the process. Laurel zipping in, zipping out. Too scary, too dangerous. No BKB on to Yathro. Needs to be careful to charge from 33. Going for the back line. And Mickey coming up with an ultra kill. Looking for that Rampage. His team got to give him the beautiful Rampage there. Yathro trying to run away with the BKB usage. Nisha is just going to be able to chase him down forever. It's a DK. And he will be able to get the catch on 33. They will not give that beautiful rampage to Mickey. I think everything has pretty much a skin in maybe individual trees. I mean, it's a map part of the map skin, but you could like choose different trees. So you could get the cheat square uh, trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Mickey gets the Mickey. He does have the Aegis. The swap comes out, saves his life. First Satanic. round done. Jump in. Laurel has the, the Aghanim Scepter. Drag back coming in. Insania is dead. Mickey pops the Eclipse. Going in for the damage. There's going to be the second swap coming through from Mira that he sold to try and keep his allies alive. Mira is dropped in low. Can he get away? Center Stampy. Mira is actually out of there thanks to the Glimmer Cave. 33 loses his life as well. Laurel with another drag back, but only on to creeps. And the push on to the range racks continues. Top lane is being pushed in in the meantime. Currently Liquid, all they kind of have to do is keep this up. Contest the triangle at nighttime. So it is a Luna. This is not an easy play. Ocean, two minutes. It's going to be up. Mira gets spotted out. Smoke got broken. Zip in. BKB from Nisha is going to be staying alive so far, but Mira not so lucky with that Mickey smack from the Kanda damage. Looking for Collapse and possibly even more DK. Stun comes out. Soulbind on to Lasso Drag. Collapse is going to get taken away from the fight. Has the Stampede. Rejoins the fray. They're all going to get dragged on top of each other. Mickey's already killed off. Yathro Pox is the God Strength. Can he find the target though? Has the Blink at the ready. Going Jeez. in onto Nisha. Cheese gets eaten, Gouda is good, Nisha going in back onto Yadro, and they kill off the Luna, but they still have to deal with the DK Spirit Breaker, and they are doing so much work here. Spirit Breaker. Charging in. Does have Vision of Collapse. Oh, who's that? Swap in, oh, Collapse is very quickly dead. That's is that not a Centaur? Of a centaur I would have... Uh, Expected. No buy. There's I mean, still a fortification. There's a slow push coming out from that DK illusion. Storm gets Laurel's charged. gonna get spotted. Gonna get hit by the charge from 33. That was a little bit of an under zip by the Storm Spirit. But yeah, slowly but surely they're just losing their lives. Yatro gets swapped back in by Insane and. He's actually going to get bashed up by 33 on the back end. Yathro pops the God Strength and BKB God Strength all used. There's a fortification coming out as well, but they just need to take all the Ancient afterwards. Nothing they can throw at them on Team Spirit and it will be close. I mean, Mickey's even going to pop the Eclipse even though he just has to hit the Ancient twice to finish the job. It will be Team Liquid.